Now, welcome back in um, Lyrics and Sibelius 6 part 7 already. Um, this was going to be the last part of this uh, Lyrics and Sibelius 6 tutorial. And to, be, uh, to begin, I want to, s to show you how to create blocks of lyrics in Sibelius. So, blocks of lyrics are just a simple text block with lyrics that, that are going to be sung on the same melody. So, instead of uh, having three lines here, you can also just have the first line only, the text line, and then uh, set those, add those other parts as, as text um, of lyrics, blocks of lyrics, and the score. And the way you do this is as follow. First, find the place where you want to put the lyrics, the lyric blocks, then go to create text, um, other system text, and you, here you find block lyrics. Now, now you can just click somewhere and start typing lyrics as blocks at the end of the score for example and it goes over the it covers over the state but you can just pull it down so this is an official uh, blocks lyrics um, text style you can also see it when you open the properties block lyrics so this is how it is done and you can of course this is a lot of work but you can also just uh, take your word processor or um, other kind of text processor or something like that and just copy and pass from there and then by after selecting it um, enter it the same way with create text or just and or assistant text and then block lyrics now what if you would for example want to have all the text in your lyrics in the score as block lyrics at the end that would be really great actually and it's really a lot of work to type it one by one or to copy it from here copy path one by one into the block lyrics style but thank god that's not necessary because uh, Sibelius has a really great plugin to do this um, for this go to plugins then to text and export lyrics now you, can, you get a little window here separate lines and you see if it's unicode but what well, works the fastest you can just uh, I think I don't use these uh, options so I just leave it unchecked and I go to OK directly and now you get a message that the lyrics have been exported as and then to the same spot where you save your document uh, it's a Billy's document so let's hit OK and let's open the file now so it's saved here this is my document place and here it is lyrics part 7 lyrics and this is the same title also here as used in the Sibelius score so let's open this one and look what we have here here we have the, all the text from this uh, from the lyrics in the score so nicely shown also with uh, the composer, the lyricist and the title so this is really nice very, very fast to work with so the only thing we have to do now is just selecting we copy and you create a text block text or assistant text block lyrics we click here and we pass the text the normal way now as you can see <laughs> it takes a little bit more editing so you could um, let's see I think the easiest is just to um, to break it after every line and of course you will have to study the score a little bit to see what are exactly the lines but I think the we can for example break the line after every period or comma it de this depends of course totally on the way you want to have it yourself but it's a much faster way to, to do this than by typing it by hand that's for sure so this is how we create uh, lyric blocks in Sibelius 6 another way of notating choir parts or music is um, to notate all the choir parts, the soprano, the alt, the tenor and the bass on two staffs only so and this is especially handy when the, um, all the four parts are singing pretty much the same rhythm so in this case you only use two parts and you notate the lyrics in between these two staves and so as you can see the rhythm is pretty much everywhere the same so this is very clear for the singers also and you can do this because you want to save space for example and, um, instead of having really extended scores like here you can do it just like this 
Now there can always be a little difference in the four parts and in case this happens, for example here with this uh, tablet, you, this is a, a kind of a melisma tramp, they all sing, all of them are sing one syllable of a note, but this, uh, the alt for example, sings a li little melisma. So and the way you note it is just the normal way, you use a slur to make clear that this is a melisma. And other thing that can happen is, for example, when the rhythm is different, and this way it's just a normal, a different rhythm. So, and what you do then, instead of keeping the, the syllable directly under the note where it starts, you put them in between the two notes that are different. So, this is, of course, for the other uh, voices, this is uh, paying a little bit more attention because <laughs> their words start a little bit later. But it makes it clear that there is a different rhythm and so you put it in the middle between the two notes of the voice. It, makes, it has a different rhythm. So this is how you could um, how you notate a uh, shared lyric line for more voices. And here is another example of um, <coughs> creating lyrics in a different way. Here we have two voices, which so could be a soprano and an alto, and notated on one single staff and with only using one line of lyrics under the staff. Now, just as in the previous example, Penevedu um, is a little bit different in the rhythm, but as you can see, most of the rhythms are the same. But, the, but the, when there is a little different in one of the lines, one of the voices, you can use, of course, as before, um, a melisma uh, line here, so that makes it pretty clear. And still, you can use also these different notations. But the best, uh, the easiest way to show this difference is by notating the words that have a different rhythm above the staff. And this is mostly only for like one or two bars. And really, if it would be a lot of bars that uh, that have different rhythm in the voices, it's easier to, to write it out of two different staves, but in this case you can just um, add the different rhythm above the stave. So as you can see the, the, the second voice has uh, this rhythm here, Ma it's a melisma marching, and the, the first the upper voice has two half notes, marching, and here is also a little bit different, the second voice has a quarter note, chair, chair, up. And uh, the upper voice has a little different rhythm, seeing this cheering up, but it's a little bit faster. Cheering up, cheering up. So um, it's a good idea just to write the lyric for those couple of bars above the staff for the voice. And the way you do this is by uh, selecting the notes where the lyrics have to go above the staff, then go to create text lyrics and then we choose lyrics above staff and now the cursor is flashing here so we can start typing and in this case, well, well let's, let's do it for a moment of course we select the note create text lyrics lyrics above staff and then we type march and then a hyphen ching come on and this is why it's exactly the way the same as you would do in another kind of notation for entering the lyrics. So, and yeah, and the notation, of course, for this voice, and for the, yeah, the, the, the basic lyric uh, notation, is just by using the, the lyrics first uh, voice line. I forget those uh, official terminology. Just by selecting, you go to text, lyrics, and you use the normal lyrics shortcut command L. Um, this is lyrics line 1 I should call it. <laughs> so we select it and we use the shortcut command 1 and as you can see the cursor flashes here directly under this line so now you can start typing and it goes there. So that's how it works. The normal lyrics with the normal shortcut command L that is lyric line 1 and the notes above it you use you select it and you use create text lyrics and then lyrics above staff. So this is how you do it. Now two last thing I want to show you still and this is the last of the whole uh, Lyrics in Sibelius 6 uh, videos 
are Aristotifo and Elysion, or Elysion, I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Aristotifo is uh, mostly used in, a lot used in operas, and that means that a dialogue is being sung on a single pitch. Now, how would you do this in, um, in Sibelius? You can, of course, uh, notate every every uh, word of the dialogue separate, but mostly it's noted on a single note. So, for example, if you would type um, this note here, all the dialogue, the whole sentence would be sung on this pitch. And how can we notate this, notate this in Sibelius? Well, first we go into lyric mode, lyric line, and the shortcut command L. That should be used all the time by now. And let's type the first word. Now, this and now I need a space. How do I make a space? I can type the space literally. I've done my mouse is gone because it wants to, to jump actually to the second note, but there is no second note. So, how can I create a space without it? The cursor jumps away to the next note. Now, we can do this the same way we did with uh, creating lyric numbers, the first numbers, and that is by using the combination Alt Space. So, I tap Alt Space, this, and now I can type my next word. Is Alt Space, how, Alt Space, it's, and Alt Space. Done. So, there you have it. Now, I have a nicely. Um, uh, a sentence under a single note, under a single pitch, and well, this like <laughs> a nice uh, single line of, of text under a single pitch. So this is a, some kind of recitativo. Another thing is um, using an elision. Elision. I'm not sure how to spell it, uh, pronounce it, but the way we do it, and it's mostly it's used in uh, liturgic text like here, yeah, for example. But let's use it in a, in a normal text way here. We can actually demonstrate it by one of the words here. For, so, for example, let's see, we want a little Elysium symbol here. The only thing we have to do is type an underscore. <laughs> and there you have it, a little Elysium. So this is this was the last tip of this whole Lyric Instability 6 series. And I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.